Hi there, so it's Andy here for Go Nomad, aka Pigs on Bikes, and this is Cuba. Yeah, this is our first day in Cuba, actually, and we're in Varadero, which is on the north part of the island. It's quite popular with tourists. There's a lot of hotels further further on down the, the strip, if you like, but we're, we're kind of at one end, a little way out of the sort of centre of it all here, just up in the local area, and this is standing on the roof in uh, Varadero and we're gonna have some breakfast and go down the beach so check this out <laughs> it's time you're eating a breakfast look <laughs> Mmm, breakfast. So what have we got? We've got a big bowl of fruit salad. We've got some bread. We've got some kind of Muffin. muffins. And we've got some cheese and some ham, some mango jam and some butter. And we're going to get some omelettes in a minute. Good. Oh, and a coffee and a fruit juice. Mega. Oh, yeah, we've got an omelette as well. And, um, yeah, I've, I've kind of... Made a breakfast roll out of mine. It's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, very good. So you can see from the map where Varadero is up in the north part of the island here, and then after after breakfast, we were just I was just standing on the roof looking around, basically, which was all right. It was quite a nice little neighbourhood, and very chilled and chilled out and laid back. And you can see there's a few street scenes. Funny thing is, there used to be a bloke in that yellow building over there, that one there. He used to randomly play the trumpet very loudly, standing on his balcony at all kinds of times of day. But, never mind. We took a walk downtown, went to the bus station to pick up some tickets. Bus tickets, just, I can't remember where we were going. I think that was to go to Santa Clara. We needed to get those booked early. So if you're going to do that, get down there early on in your trip. And then we um, just took a walk around, really, and I just chilled out and uh, took a casual walk down to the beach and along the front and just did a bit of exploring and you can see here that it's not really very busy at all traffic wise and I didn't really see it much busier than this but then saying that there's not really a lot of tourist traffic because a lot of people do hotels all inclusive and they stay at the resort and they very very rarely leave the resort. I didn't see many tourists actually walking around, although it's the main touristy, main tourist area. And yes, people still do use horse and cart to get around on. Um, that's not only for the tourists as well, as you'll see in videos coming later. But um, yeah, locals still use horse and cart in some places. That one was undoubtedly for tourists, actually. But there you go. I mean, it's 30 odd degrees and it's beautiful you know beautiful weather it's just the right time to go and have a look at the beach and uh, of course the um had to stop and have a look at this band on the way down uh, and then I, I i quite like live music and this is pretty cool and then after a while you realize that they're sort of on every corner and then we hit the beach and you can see what the beach is like and this is the biggest attraction in Varadero by far it's what a lot of people come to Varadero for is the beach so we found somewhere to stick a couple of hammocks up under some trees I left Tanya sitting in a hammock uh, busy uh, blogging away there so check out her blog on cantravelwilltravel.com and uh, I thought I would go and try the GoPro out in the uh, in the waters this is the first time that we'd been anywhere to actually try it out properly for real sort of thing and uh, I wanted to get some good shots with some waves but um, as you can see it's almost as still as a mill pond Varadero beach and that's because when you look under the water you'll see in a minute that there's actually no gradient on it at all so it's not not great for making waves but saying that it is very nice and it's very long so there you go you can see underneath there um, it is it is pretty flat and featureless which is great for swimming and it's not very great for snorkeling. So anyway, so that's Varadero. I hope you liked it. Like, share, subscribe, email at goingnomad123 at gmail.com and check out the website goingnomad123.com and above all, stay safe out there. Excellent. <laughs>